I'm about to show you how to turn yourself into a Funko Pop and then turn that into a sticker. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, where I show you crafty tips, tricks, and tutorials multiple times every single week. So consider stamping that subscribe button and also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications if you all are new around here to this channel. Now y'all, if y'all have been around for really any length of time, you probably know that I just have a huge thing for Funko Pops. Like I love Funko Pops. And actually when we were out in California, we went to the Funko Hollywood store and actually popped ourselves. <laughs> Sounds so weird. But we turned ourselves into actual Funko Pops. And y'all, like I am obsessed. Like I actually have a pretty good size collection, but so many of y'all have wanted to know how do you turn yourself into a Funko Pop after you saw one of the new designs on crafty.net that we've actually turned myself into a Funko Pop that you could actually use as an SVG file or a sticker file. So what I'm doing today is actually showing you how to turn yourself into your own type of Funko Pop. So let's go ahead and head over to Funko.com. And here we are on the main page. And what I'm going to do is actually head down here towards the bottom of the screen. And at the time of filming this, this is where it's currently located. It is right down here where it says pop yourself. So this is the screen that you should land on. And you might actually have to go in here and register for a free account if you don't have one already. But basically we're gonna go through the whole process of creating our own style of Funko. Now, obviously I'm gonna go through and actually create one for myself, but you do you. So let's go in here and we can just kind of take a look at the different body shapes, male, female, whatever. Um, so we can also go in here and pick out the skin tones. So I'm gonna go in here and click on this one right here. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty pale if you couldn't tell. So <laughs> let me go in here and click on that skin color. And then let's come up here and click on face. And for that, we can kind of go through here and pick out the color of eyebrows or facial hair, or really there's a bunch of features, some a little bit more um, interesting than others. <laughs> but let me come in here. Let's try these brows out right here. Let me make that a little bit lighter. I think that's probably a little bit more accurate. Let's go with that. Now, as far as the beards go, like, I know that I have like, at least like a minimum of a five o'clock shadow. However, the beards on here for the Funko Pops, it's like a full on beard. And like, I, I'm not to that level. So <laughs> let me just show you what that would look like. Yeah, that's not me. I'm, I'm gonna abstain from that actually. And by the way, if you do actually try something on your Funko by clicking on it like so, all you have to do is click on that same exact option again to turn that back off. Uh, let's come over here to hair. Now, unfortunately, they do not have the hat option on their online options. So for those who have seen me without my hat, which there have been a few videos where I've not worn one, maybe we can actually insert a little screenshot right here. But what I'll do is come over here and put on this hairstyle, which is probably the closest thing to real life. Yeah, let's go with this lighter version right here. I think that's probably pretty accurate. And let's come up here, click on outfits. And y'all know I'm just kind of a black kind of guy. So let me come in here. Let's try out these jeans with like the black shoes. And we can even go in here and change the color of the pants if we want to, like so. And again, there's a lot of different options. So let me go in here now and actually pick out a shirt or I guess in this case, let's do a hoodie. I like that. Let's roll with that. Now let's come up here and click on accessory. I don't think I need any of these accessories. And as far as background goes, you have the option of selecting a background. I'm gonna leave mine blank and I'll show you why here in a second. So let me come over here and click on done. And now we can go in here and actually save this. So let me just put in here, Michael, click on save. And then here is our Funko. So what I'll do now is come over here and you should see this option, this little download option right here. Let me click on that. And as you can see, it went ahead and downloaded a PNG version of this. Now this PNG version has a transparent background because we did not select the background option. So now what I'm gonna do is come over here to Cricut Design Space. We'll come over here to the left-hand side of the page, click on upload, click on upload image, and then we'll go ahead and click and drag our file over here onto the screen, come down here and click on complex, and then click on continue. We don't need to do anything on this page. Let's come down here and click on apply and continue. Now this part is pretty important. So we do need to go in here and click on print then cut image. We are making a sticker. So that is very important to do the print then cut image. Now, let me also say this, this whole process will not work with like a Cricut Joy. Cricut Joy does not have the sensor that is needed for a print then cut image. So just keep that in mind. You want to stick with like a Cricut Explore or Cricut Maker. So. Here is what I'm gonna select and then come down here and click on upload. 
All right, so now here it is under our recently uploaded images. Let me click on that and then come down here and click on add to canvas. And here is that file. Now I do want to go in here and add something. So let me hop over to crafty.net. And I mean, I'm sure that y'all have been hearing all kinds of buzz about crafty.net and probably also wondering why everybody is ditching some of their other unlimited memberships and hopping over to the crafty.net wagon. And that's because it is literally the best deal on the internet to get unlimited access, like unlimited downloads to top quality SVG files, prints and cut files, laser files, sublimation files, fonts even. And that's what we're actually going to be looking at today is fonts. So let me come over here, hover over categories and then click on fonts. There's just so much goodness on here, y'all. And if there isn't like an exact file that you're looking for, you can even go in here and actually have it requested to be made custom. So. I mean, what more could you want? Like it's so freaking cool. And plus it's less than $10 a month. That includes a commercial license, by the way. And I honestly recommend going for the yearly option and that's $107.89 for the entire year. I mean, you honestly can't beat it. Now there is currently over 15,000 files on the site and we are now at 100 fonts. And that is at the time of recording. So they are adding over 1,000 new files to the site every single month constantly rolling out new fonts as well. So that's just gonna keep getting better and better and better. So let me come down here and as far as the fonts, I'm basically wanting to find something where I can actually have my name included in with the sticker. This is completely optional, you do you. But let me come in here and I'm actually gonna go with this option right over here that is Daydream. Now I have used this before, I'm just, I'm in love with this font, y'all. I'm really, really in love with it. It's just so classy. It can be really used for so many things. So let me know down in the comment section below if you have downloaded this font from crafty.net. And if you haven't, let me know which of the crafty.net fonts is your favorite. Now let me go in here, click on this, and we could go in here and download the entire zip file, or we could just go in here and download the OTF or TTF versions. I typically always go for the OTF version, but we could even go in here and do a one click download. Now I do have this already downloaded to my computer. So let me go ahead and hop back over here to Cricut Design Space and then come over here to the left hand side of the page, click on text, and then we can just type in here, my goal. And I do wanna go ahead and switch that font over. So let me come up here, click on font. Now, one of the things I love about crafty.net fonts is sometimes you'll remember that you love a certain font from a certain site, but you may not always remember the name. And so with this, you can even go in here, do a search just for crafty, hit enter, and it'll pull up all of the crafty.net files that you have downloaded to your computer. So let me go in here and just find daydream. Here it is. And there, that is like so. Let me go ahead and shrink this down some. I mean, there's so many different things that you could do with this. You could even go in and create a, a Funko Pop of yourself and your partner maybe. Go in here and put in your all's names, the date of your, your anniversary. I mean, you, there's so many different options that you could just go with this. So please just tag me on social media with whatever you all create with this process because I would love to see it. So let me go in here. I think that sizing is pretty good. Um, let me go ahead and click and drag over both of these and then just resize it like so. I'm also gonna go ahead and click and drag over both of these and then come up here towards the top of the screen, click on align and then click on center horizontally. And then while both of those are still selected, let me come down here towards the bottom right and click on flatten. Now flatten is gonna take those two individual layers and then put them together for a print thin cut image. So as you can see, we can now come over here to the right hand side of the page and that is labeled as print thin cut and it's just one single layer. Now there is something else I'm wanting to do with both of those still selected and that's actually create a really cool offset around this. So for that, let me come up here, click on offset. And basically with the offset, you can see that there's like this little blue outline that is around our Funko Pop and around our name. And you can even drag this little, this little dial up and down if you wanna make that a bigger offset or shrink that down like so. I'm wanting to go something more like that right there. I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and come in here and click on apply. And I do wanna go ahead and also change the color because whatever the color of your offset is, well, that's the color it's actually gonna print out. So let's go ahead while that is selected over here, come up here towards the top left and change that over to white. And then let's go ahead and click and drag over both of those layers again, and then come down here towards the bottom right and click on flatten. And there we go. So if I were to come in here and actually change the background of this, this canvas, you'll see exactly what that would look like, like so. 
Let me now come up here towards the top right hand corner, click on make it. And here it is on our preview screen. I don't need to do anything here. So let me come down here towards the bottom right and click on continue. I am going to go in here and click on send to printer and then make sure that my printer that I'm using is selected. So I'm going to be using my Epson 3760 inkjet. As far as the add bleed option, that will stay turned off and I will always select use system dialog. And this little box may pop up behind your screen. So you might have to go like searching for it, but basically you can go in here and actually dial in some settings to get an even better print quality. Now, this, this tomfoolery that's happening over here on the little preview screen, I don't know what's been going on with that. That's been a thing here lately. Hopefully they get that sorted out soon, but it should print out just fine. Let me, let me go ahead and click on print. And by the way, I do already have my StarCraft printable vinyl loaded into this printer right here. In my opinion, like I just love, love, love the feel and the quality of the StarCraft printable vinyl. So that'll be printing out here shortly, but I do need to go in here and find that little use system dialog box, which is right here. Now, this will look a little bit different depending upon which printer you're using, which computer you're using, but I do wanna go in here, make sure that the media and quality is selected, make sure that that's set to best. And let's come in here and change that over to a photo matte paper and then click on print. All right, so here is our little Funko Pop right there. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Michael, surely you are not gonna be wasting all of this printable vinyl. And you are correct, I am not. There is a video coming. I know I keep saying it, I know I do, but there is a video coming showing you exactly how to use all of your scraps. So stay tuned for that. But as far as this goes, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down onto a blue light grip cutting mat. Um, basically the light grip cutting mat or a very well-loved green standard grip cutting mat will do the trick for this. Now, as far as the cut setting for this goes, I typically use the light cardstock cut setting because that seems to work out the best for me personally with the StarCraft printable vinyl. So you might wanna do some test cuts, see what works out best for you. But I'll come in here, click on light cardstock and let's go ahead and load this in, get started cutting. By the way, while that's cutting, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, you may wanna consider doing that. Also consider ringing that little bell for all the notifications because y'all do not want to miss out on a single Cricut or Crafty Minute. I promise you that. So what the Cricut's doing right now is actually using its sensor to know exactly where those registration marks are. So it will know exactly where to make the cuts at around the sticker. All right, so we can go ahead and unload this now. Flip the mat over, peel away the mat from the material. I'm gonna go ahead and trim all this out now. We'll save this for that feature video, I keep promising. I'm gonna go ahead and just peel off the surrounding portion of our sticker here. And then here is our Funko Pop sticker. All right, so now you know how to turn yourself into a Funko Pop and then turn that Funko Pop into a sticker. But right about now you might be wondering, well, how do I actually turn that sticker into a standalone die cut sticker? And even on top of that, how do I make that into an easy peel sticker? And that is where this video comes into play right here. So be sure to click on that next because you do not want to miss this.